Hi everyone, today we are going to see about the foundation of Vijayanagar Empire. Vijayanagara, the city of victory, was established in southern Karnataka by two brothers named the Harihara and Bukka. So you can see the Vijayanagara, the city is called as the city of victory. So, so many victories it has seen. So it was called as the city of victory and it was in the southern Karnataka. It was not in the north. It was in the southern Karnataka and by it was ruled by two brothers named Harihara and Bukka. These were the two brothers. You can see the picture. This is Harihara and Bukka. According to one tradition, Vidya, Vidya Ranya, the head of Saviki Srigari Mach, instructed them to abandon their service to the Tukluk and rescue the country from the Muslim authority. So one set of people, they believed that the Vijayanagara head of Saviki Srinath Mach, had instructed to abandon the Tukluk. So and they had said to, abandon means they had said to leave the uh, work in the Tukluk, under the, uh, under the Tukluk and rescue and save the country. That means rescue means here save the country from the Muslim king, Muslim kingdom. The new kingdom was Vidyanagara for a time in honor of the spiritual teacher Vidyaranya before it came to be called as Vijayan, Vijayanagara. So before, uh, be, before it was called, before the name Vijayanagara, it was called as Vidyanagara because of the spiritual faith in the spiritual teacher Vidyaranya. So it was divided into four dynasty that was Sangama in the year of 1336 to 1485, Saluva in the year of 1485 to 1505, Tuluva in the year of 1505 to 1570, Aravidu in the year of 1570 to 1646, they ruled the kingdom. The fertile regions between the river Krishna and Uganda Bhadra and the Krishna Godavari Delta were the zones of conflict among the rulers of the Vijayanagar, Bamini and Odisha. So you can see the Godavari river in the picture. So this is a Godavari river and uh, this is the Krishna river. So in among the two rivers, this is a delta region. Delta means one big river is divided into small small rivers and it is reaching the sea area. So that was called as uh, delta. So this we can see this. So from till the till this region, you can see the river was coming in a one single path with one single path. Afterward, after that it was splitted. And it was moving towards the sea region. So that region was delta region. So the fertile region, it was used by the Vijayanagar, Bamini and Odisha uh, people for, for the conflicts, for solving the conflict among themselves. So conflicts means a fight among themselves. So Harihara and Bukka of the Sangam dynasty protected the new kingdom from the superior forces of the Bamini Sultanate, which has been established about a decade after the foundation of Vijayanagara. So these were the uh, Harihara and Bukka of the Sangamma dynasty. So these were the two people of the Sangamma dynasty. They protected the new kingdom. So they protected the new kingdom from the superior forces of the Bamini Sultanate. Superior means a higher, higher post of the Bamani Sultanate, which has been established about a decade after the foundation of Vijayanagara. So, this kingdom was established after a decade. Decade means after 10 years of Vijayanagara. So, Bukha's first son, first son uh, Kumara Kamvana, entered the Sultanate in Madurai and succeeded in establishing the Nayaka kingdom there. So, he was the Kumara Kampana. So he was a Bukka, Bukka's first son. Bukka one's first son. And he succeeded his establishing the Nayaka kingdom. Next, the end of Sangama dynasty. When the king Bukka died, he had left behind the large territory to his son Harihara II to rule. 
So after the Buka's death, you can see the picture. This is Buka. After his death, you can see the uh, the Kuma. You can see the Harihara too was started to rule. Uh, Buka left a large territory. That means a wide path, wide territory, wide area to his son. So Harihara too impressive achievements was securing Belag, uh, Belgam and Gova from the Bahmani kingdom. So you can see the Belgam. This is the region Belgam and Gova uh, from the Bahmani kingdom. So he was very impressive and uh, he secured these kingdoms. Then Haryana's son Devaraya one defeated Gajabadi king of Odisha. So he was Gajabadi king and he was defeated by Deva Harihara's son Devaraya one. His successor Devaraya two was the greatest ruler of the Sangama dynasty. So successor means one who one who compete with another. The successor Devaraya two was the greatest ruler of the Sangama dynasty. So he was the son, Devaraya two was the greatest ruler of the Sangama dynasty. You can see the artistic picture of the Sangama age. So he began that Devaraya two began the practice of recruiting. Recruiting means uh, selecting the people uh, from the Muslim community as a fighters to train in the new method of warfare. New method, uh, something he he taught them, he trained them, and he had given practice for them. Then the rise of Saluwa dynasty. Next we are going to see about the Saluwa dynasty. So. After Devaraya II, the Vijayanagara Empire went through a crisis. Crisis means a conflict, maybe a problem. One is, uh, as, that's why I have shown the picture here. You can see the picture here. One is pushing this side, the, one is uh, keeping his hand and he is pushing this side, one, and another one is pushing this side. So it is a Saluwa dynasty, and uh, they were trying to. Now uh, they were trying, uh, they were they were undergoing some crisis, maybe a conflict uh, to divide the kingdom. Um, so rise of Salwa dynasty, how it came. So the able commander of the Vijayanagara army, Salwa Narshima, making use of the situation, declared himself the emperor after murdering the last Sangam dynasty, Virupaksharaya. You can see the Saluwa Narashima in the picture and he is the commander of the Vijayanagar army and he used the situation properly and he declared himself as the emperor and he murdered the last ruler of the Sangama dynasty Virupaksha Raya II. But the Saluwa dynasty founded by Saluwa Nar Narashima came to an end with his death. So at, uh, after his uh, death itself, his dynasty came to an end. It not uh, lead to many per, many persons. Within his death, the end of this dynasty, the end of the dynasty came. When the Narasar Nayak, his able general, general, seized power, it ushered in the Tuluwa dynasty. Ushered here means it started the Tuluwa dynasty. Next dynasty is Tuluwa dynasty and it started. The remaining we'll see in the next video. So please watch and subscribe. I'll be com continuously posting my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like and comment our video. Thank you.